I picked up this candle, Cafe Bouquet, but from the Destination Collection by Paris, and I wanted to throw out a review. These candles are still available. I don't think they're highly desired because they are not bakery scents. It seems like, from what I can gather, bakery scents are all the rage. Incense type smells and memory smells and even watery smells and all flower smells seem to be lesser appreciated. But this is one of my favorite candles that was released this summer. It has a beautiful espresso note in it. Mm, so good. It has a wonderful throw. It has white tuberose and bergamot zest. And it's just gorgeous. When I smell it, it just takes me to my youth. When I used to go to alternative um, cafes that sold espressos, this was before Starbucks, you guys. This was decades ago. I would go to these dingy little privately owned cafes in these hole in the walls owned by people who were, you know, maybe in their 30s and just got up enough money to have a little small business. They would go to thrift stores and buy the furniture. We used to have this gold, this gilded wood furniture that was very ornate with red velvet because that was like left over from the 70s. It was very tacky, very cheap. And they would put empty frames on the wall and the frames would be those gold frames. Everything smelled vintage and a little musky and the places were dark. They used those old fashioned candelabras which were lit. So there were these little fires all over the place and we would go in these places and drink coffee and get desserts. You know, you, you could smell the perfume on the women and the cologne on the men. You could smell the espresso machine. Everybody was cool, everybody was beautiful and it smells just like Cafe Bouquet. I can imagine there must have been coffee shops like that in Paris. And I know in Paris they have those little outdoor cafes and the espresso is very strong smell there. So this candle is beautiful, it's strong. It, it is so strong that when I leave it in a spot then I go and put it away, I go back to that spot, I can still smell this candle. It lingers like a perfume. And I'm told it smells just like um, Atelier's uh, Cafe Tuberosa, which is a fragrance that I own and love. So to my nose, there are similarities, but it's not exactly the same. This smell here is, um, I think has a little bit more mass appeal. Tuberosa is very edgy. I love the whole Destination collection, but this is the only one I was able to get a hold of, and this is my favorite. So I will get the others when they are on sale because the collection seems to not be that desirable to everybody, but it is one of my favorite collections that Bath & Body Works has. So I want to tell you about this candle, Espresso Tuberose and Bergamot Zest. Beautiful candle, huge throw huge throw, lingers in the room, even after you take it out of the room, even without smelling it, it scents the room. Might be my, this may be my number one candle for 2018. We will see as the year goes on. At the, when, at the end of the year, I will see if anything's changed. But right now, this is my favorite candle of 2018. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Jesus loves you. I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and watch another one of my videos.